Brought to you by Flagstaff, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. Talk with me about the uh, the realities of RV ownership. If I've never owned an RV before, and I'm going to buy my first one, about the uh, the importance of me being at least a little bit mechanically inclined. I mean, just at least a little bit. Yeah, you know, having a little bit of knowledge is going to be beneficial, and being able to use basic tools is going to be helpful, too. Um, I'd say now it's it's easier than ever before to have that knowledge with tools such as YouTube, the Facebook groups. Go on and do some of that research first because you can find out a lot of information about water heaters, about water pumps. Um, you can go on forums and maybe someone's had the same issue with their thermostat or an issue with a refrigerator that instead of having to call a dealership you know, back and forth a bunch of different times, um, you can find those answers pretty quickly online for a lot of simple, small issues. It's a, uh, it, it amazes me. You're, you're exactly right. But, you know, when I have an issue, it could be with a, with a swimming pool. It could be with anything. I just go, I go into YouTube, I go to Google, and, and it doesn't take but two minutes, and I've found somebody that has had the same situation as I've had. And I know that in the RV world, there are just thousands of videos out there. So whatever issue that I might run up against, uh, there's, a, there's at least a resource available without having to spend money and go to the dealer first. That, that's right. You know, I just ran into it here within the last two months, both a water heater and a furnace issue um, at my house. Furnace issue in northern Indiana in uh, January is not fun. <laughs> it got down to about 52. Uh, but just doing simple searching online, I was able to take care of the water heater. I wasn't uh, able to do the furnace. But, uh, you know, yeah, it, it, there's so many resources out there. There's so many owner groups that, that are extremely beneficial to be a part of. I know one thing we've worked at uh, as a company uh, with Forest River is on our corporate YouTube page, loading in informational videos on operation of different features of your RV, small troubleshooting tips and techniques. Um, But that's another thing, too, where, again, I'm going to keep bringing it up. You build a relationship with the service manager or service tech at a dealership. That's someone that you can call and you have their cell phone number. And a lot of times it's not something that's going to require you to bring the trailer back into them. It's a lot of times going to be something that can be simply troubleshot over the phone um, and save you a whole heck of a lot of time and money. What are your thoughts on uh, dealers who say, you know, I'm buying a brand new RV and a couple of things aren't working quite right? And they say, just don't worry about it. Just go and use it for a trip or two and bring it back and we'll get everything fixed up for you. Uh, my personal advice has been to people, if it's not in, you know, ready, ready to use condition, don't take it. Uh, but what are your thoughts about that? Because I hear a lot of people saying that the salesperson just kind of wanted to shoo them off the lot. It seemed like, yeah, you know, that's going to be one of those, you can kind of fill out the situation, right? You'll be able to tell if they kind of want to just get you out of it. Now, granted, a lot of small item issues that, you know, hey, our goal as a manufacturer is to not have any of those. But anytime something's built by humans, you know, there's bound to be issues, um, whether large or small. We understand that. We strive to be perfect. But if it's something like a scratch cabinet door or a piece of trim that that doesn't quite look right or a small aesthetic detail, you know, that dealer knows that it could be a week or two before they can get that part into them to then repair your trailer, where if they take note of it and follow the proper protocols, send the pictures to us with the VIN information, all that. It's something that's logged. And then by the time the owner has time to bring it in, doesn't have any trips planned coming up, then they can get that small part and do that small repair. So, you know, that's something that I know a lot of dealers will do for smaller items. Um, Obviously, if it's something where your refrigerator does not work, don't take it off the lot. Um, make them repair that before you go camping. But yeah, a lot of the smaller, I don't want to say insignificant details, but the things that aren't going to negatively affect your camping trips, sometimes let those go until maybe the end of the year. Just make sure that that dealer is logging those issues and, and, and communicates that with the manufacturer so that when it's convenient for you, now you can bring it in, have those things corrected. 